This repair tool provided by Rewa Technology is used to desolder and solder iPhone X double-deck logic boards in a safer and more efficient way. Let's check the video review for more details. If you're going to be working on iPhone X or iPhone X logic boards, you're going to need a proper piece of equipment in order to split them in half because of the way that they're designed. So today we're going to take a look at a new tool that I just got in the mail from Rewa Technology. And I already know what's inside the box, but I figured I would record this portion so that you can see exactly what to expect when you order one of these. So as we open this up, we've got plenty of cushion and actually they threw in a bunch of these little uh, bubble wrap envelopes that we can use to put phones in. The packing list doesn't say a whole lot, but what we're going to be looking at here shortly is the UU or UUE948X. You can see we have a 110 adapter here in case you don't have access to a 220 power supply. So you can plug this into a 110 or a 220 outlet, it doesn't matter. And on the inside here, this is what we want to get to. This is the desoldering rework station. And when you open it up, you'll see on the front, it's got some information printed on it. They have included a microcomputer temperature controller. On one side, we've got a set button. On the right-hand side, we've got some arrows and in the middle, a digital display. The model number is UU or UUE 948X. And on the back side, just a an area where we can plug in our power supply and a switch for on and off. So it's pretty straightforward. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in. And you can see they've actually got a template here that you can use. I'm going to assume for when we're reinstalling or reconnecting the board because when we do the separation, we're not actually going to use this piece but it does sit down right on top of the unit. There are a couple holes there that kind of align it properly with some pegs. On the back, we've got a power switch. So if you just click that, this will turn the unit on. And in order to get the temperature set up on this, what we're gonna to have to do is just hold down the set button on the left-hand side. So you'll see here, as I press this for a couple seconds, the display will begin to flash. And for some reason, it defaults to 999. So obviously we need to bring this down a bit. The recommended temperature for separating the iPhone 10 board is 190 degrees Celsius. There is no option to switch this over to Fahrenheit, but that is pretty standard when we work with this sort of equipment. So you kind of want to get used to reading things based on Celsius rather than Fahrenheit. So this will take a second for us to get it down to the desired temperature. Just hold on to that button and you'll see it moves pretty quickly. It's a bit like setting a digital clock. Before you perform your board separation, you might want to cut through this piece of tape right here that connects two sections together or possibly remove the tape altogether. All right, so we're going to give this a test run. I'm going to go ahead and place my iPhone X or iPhone X motherboard with the connector side facing up and you'll use these fasteners on the side just to kind of clip the board down. We want to make sure that it's secure and snug up against the surface. You don't want any airspace in between there. Obviously that will affect the unit's ability to heat. So I am going to set this at the recommended temperature. And when we press the set button there, we'll just uh, give this a bit of time to warm up. Now it did take probably a good 10 to 15 minutes. So I was kind of doing other things and just checking back every minute or so to see where the temperature was. And as it starts to approach the desired temperature, of course, we want to stand by because at that point, they recommend that when you get it up to temperature, you leave it for one minute and then go ahead and separate the board. And of course, we don't want to just leave it setting there indefinitely. Over time, I'm sure that having it set that high uh, eventually is going to cause some issues with the logic board itself. Now the recommendation was to get this up to 190 degrees Celsius. For some reason I had 180 in my mind instead, but what you're going to see here shortly is that at about 179, I started my timer, I left the board on for a minute, and when I went to remove the upper layer, there was no problem getting it off. So I suppose there are a number of environmental factors that might affect this, 
but I would probably just go with what works. In this case, it happened to be at about 180C. Let's set this up so that you can see what's going on from a couple of different angles. I've got a tool that I'm going to just very gently slide underneath the top layer here, and as we lift that up, as soon as I've got enough so that I can grab a hold of it with my tweezers and get it on the other side, and there was no resistance to this, I want to make sure that's clear. I did not have to worry about doing any damage because all of the solder was in fact up at a temperature high enough to melt. And at this point, what we want to do, of course, is go ahead and turn the unit off, and then we'll remove the board from the platform as soon as possible. Again, no need to leave it on there any longer than necessary, and it'll probably take a little while for this to cool down. So you can see there why you probably want to cut through that tape so you don't have these two sections of the board still connected. But for all practical purposes, this still did the job with no problem. You can see I've got some of that thermal paste on my knife there. I might have pushed the blade in just a little bit further than I needed to, but for all practical purposes, this is a safe and easy way to separate the dual layers on an iPhone 10 logic board. And if you're going to be micro soldering for much longer, you're going to need something like this to get the job done. If you found the video helpful, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out our weekly Tech Talk live stream. Have a great one and thanks for watching.